we finally have a solution for the BlackBerry 10 setup loop. Now, thanks to a comment on my Q20 and Q10 comparison video, we now have a solution for the setup loop that the phones tend to get stuck in, especially when they're reset. This setup solution comes from another YouTuber, which I'll link down below, and I'll also link the comment that was left and I pinned to the previous video. Now for the solution, I wanted to go through step by step and have a voiceover with the solution because I felt this was missing from the previous video. Some of us who are visually impaired have difficulty following text only videos. So I think having some tips and a voiceover while I'm going through the tutorial may help others. So if you've recently purchased a BlackBerry 10 device and you've tried to set it up, but you keep receiving this complete setup notification, you'll need to manually set it up by doing a little workaround. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to, but you'll still keep receiving these complete setup notifications multiple times a day. In order to stop these notifications from happening, you'll need to connect your device to the internet and finish the setup process. Now, before starting this process, please remove your SIM card. This will help the process go more smoothly. Now from here, I'm going to select complete setup, and then I'm going to choose open at the bottom of the notification. Now, once you're brought to this menu, you'll need to activate the voice over tool. To do this, you can simply select the power button found at the top of the device three times. In order to activate the screen reader, double tap with two fingers on the screen. Now, in order to continue the setup process, double select next at the bottom of the menu. Now, since I don't have a SIM card inserted, I'm going to double select skip at the bottom right hand corner to go to the Wi-Fi setup. Now the screen reader is going to speak a lot on this menu. Don't select to connect to a Wi-Fi. Let the screen reader finish reading the text and you'll notice at the end of the dialogue, she's going to say skip. This is because a pop-up menu is supposed to appear to connect to your BlackBerry ID. Rather than connecting to the BlackBerry ID, I'm going to choose skip, but as you can see on the menu, you won't see skip. Skip is going to be located in the bottom right hand corner of the interface and you'll need to tap to find it. And once it recognizes I've selected the skip button, I'm going to double tap it to activate it. Now from this dialog box, I'm going to double select skip again to skip the BlackBerry ID setup. From this menu, I'm also going to double select skip. Now, once you're brought to this menu, double select settings. It may be easier to deactivate the voiceover while entering your credentials for your Wi Fi. Now, once you've entered your password credentials, select connect in the bottom right hand corner. From here, I'm going to choose next at the bottom of the menu. Now, if you automatically don't see the regional update option, you may need to go back and forth to the Wi-Fi settings menu, select next and keep going back and forth until it brings you to the regional update menu. Once the option for next appears, select it at the bottom of the menu. Now from here, it's going to look for a software update. This may take a few minutes, but it should go quite smoothly to the next menu. Now, after the software update menu disappears, you'll have the option to swipe left. Do that from this menu. 
From here, choose OK. And then it will say your setup is complete. From here, you can go through the tutorial of the gestures, of course, if you haven't done so already, or you can return to the home page of your device. And you'll receive notifications straight away. To connect to BBM, you can select this option and delete it, of course. And you can choose to delete any new notifications you might receive from BlackBerry, but the setup option should disappear completely or you can go through the same tutorial again and it should resolve the issue. I've also used this to set up my Q10 as well. It was going through the same complete setup loop. And once I did this workaround with the voiceover tool, I no longer have the issue. I don't have the notification 24 seven. And again, for somebody who is trying to live a more digitally minimalistic life, this nonstop notifications was driving me crazy and I'm glad to finally have resolved the issue. Thank you again for the commenter on my video and please check out the original video below because it is quite a bit shorter, of course, there's no voiceover, but if you wanna go through it quickly, you can check out that video. I hope this tutorial was helpful and again, thank you for watching. See you soon.